Hello everybody, welcome back. It has been the longest time since I did a proper haul video and that's exactly what I'm going to do today. Now before I get into this video I'd just like to say that the items I'm showing today have been bought over a period of several months. This isn't I've gone out and spent loads of money because quite frankly like a lot of people at the moment I don't have a lot of money um, so this is literally stuff that's been bought over a period of months um, and I'm just kind of putting it all into one video today. Um, there are some things that were Black Friday purchases and there's maybe a couple of things that have been gifted. So I wanted to show you what I've got um, and apologies if I sound absolutely diabolical. I'm full of cold. It's just that time of year. There's a lot going around and I've unfortunately come down with a head cold. So before we get into the video I would just like to ask that if you enjoy haul videos or craft videos please do hit the subscribe button. It does help my channel grow and I really appreciate every single one that does subscribe and does watch my videos. If you enjoyed today's video or find it useful please also remember to leave a thumbs up and let's get into the video and I'll show you what I've got. So we're going to start with Aliexpress and get that out of the way really quickly. Um, and I just got a few dies. So some of my craft friends influenced me. Um, I'm on a group and they all started doing cards using these their dies with like really fun kind of torn edges. And um, just loads of people started using them. And I was like, I need those dies. They're just so pretty. Um so I bought some. To be fair, I'm a little bit disappointed with the size of these. I thought these were going to be DL size and they're clearly not. Um, so, you know, that's life. But as you can see, I have started using them. I have been quite pleased with them when I do use them. They cut nicely. But I have these, I don't know what we call them, like they're rectangles, but they're not rectangles. Um, I have the circles. I have some squares and I have some ovals. So as I said, those were from AliExpress. I've had them for quite some time now. And apart from being upset with the size of those, I've been quite happy in general with them. So those were AliExpress. Then in the works, really boring, but I got some glue sticks. Um, I go through fits and starts of using glue gum. And when I use it, I just suddenly use all the glue sticks I've got. So I didn't think like that many for five quid was actually a bad deal. Um, I used to get my glue sticks in Hobbycraft, but they just overinflated their price to the point where I was like, I'm not paying that. So I thought I'd try the one from the works. As you can see, I haven't opened them yet, but when I do, I shall let you know what I think. Then we have eBay. I bought some DL card blanks. I've wanted these for ages. I kept looking in Hobbycraft and they never had them. Um, so I got these on eBay sometime in the summer. I can't exactly remember when. I have since done another eBay shop. I did this about three or four weeks ago. Whether it's the postal strikes or something else, I'm not sure. I'm still waiting for that to arrive. That will be a whole video on its own. But my goodness, you're going to want to watch that. Let me tell you. So DL card blanks from eBay and something to come. Then I did try to go into Hobbycraft. So I think I've been in Hobbycraft three times during this buying process and also had to shop online with them once. So I don't know about you, but I go through six by six card blanks so fast. Like it's ridiculous. They're just so handy. Um, so I'd been in and I'd got one pack. I'd used them all. Crazy. There's like 50 in here. But anyway, I'd used them all. Went back in store, they had none. I was like, how have they got none? Anyway, they also didn't have the other sizes I went to. I went online, I ordered them from their website, they came, that was great. And then I went back the other day and I got some more. So from Hobbycraft, we have six by six card blanks. We have five by five card blanks and we have four by four card blanks. This is just like a few to show you there were more. I always tend to grab some foam pads when I'm in Hobbycraft. These are generally a pound. You get 80 and these ones are quite a good size. I don't know if you can see, um, but I like those. So I generally will be mooching and they accidentally jump into my basket. So that was Hobbycraft. 
then I was mooching in the card aisle and I decided I wanted to try black card as like mats and layers so I picked this one up I'm not sure oh, it's 160 GSM and you got 70 pieces in there I can't remember how much it was but it wouldn't have been expensive as you can see it's opened I've been using it I've been really happy with this I really like it and I would buy this again so that's just the black hobbycraft black card and then I'd been wanting to try binding glue sorry for a while and I picked this one up this is the Kalau one I really like Kalau you know the the really strong glue for cards and stuff so I thought I'd try their book binding glue I have been happy with it I have been using it I'd still like to try some other ones so until I've tried a few I don't want to just settle on one from what I've used it on I've been happy but as I say I'm gonna shop around and find some more so that I think is everything from Hobbycraft I did go on Budley Crafts and place a small order and when I say small I mean small <laughs> it's tiny this is a stays on ink refill bottle I had some orders for some black ice cards um, for Christmas and my pad was just not cooperating so I needed to refill it so I got this from Budley Crafts I really like Budley Crafts they are really reasonable on postage they do post out really quick ignore the postage strikes you know normally they are really quick their prices are good they're a small business I like to try and support small business as and when I can and um yeah that's what I got from those and then we come on to some gifted items so I have a friend who is also a card maker he lives nearby to me we meet up for coffee quite regularly we quite often will sit in Starbucks playing with nude row drops or you know stuff like that and he had a spare morning dew and I didn't have that one so he very kindly gave me morning dew um, this is the clear one it dries clear um, and I had two spare like duplicates I can't remember there was a green and a blue so I gave him those so we did kind of a nouveau swap also with that he had a duplicate of this stamp set here I'll put it on the black cart so you can see I don't think there's any swearing but just be warned just in case um so he had ordered this and the grandma version and the company had sent him the granddad one twice so when they did send the grandma one they still just keep the extra granddad one so he gave it to me which was really nice I think it's a really funny really fun stamp set and uh, some really fun sentiments on there um, and I've already started making a background that I'm, I just need to stamp him color him in and put him on top so really really nice really grateful for that so the last thing I have is some Nuvo purchases from the Black Friday deals now I was doing really well I was being really restrained I wasn't buying I did a lot of looking I always looked at their deals and I just kept going no 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 I nearly bought their cardstock deal and then I actually went and looked at my cardstock reserves and was like no Kate just because it's on a good deal you do not need this you have lots of like coloured cardstock don't buy so anyway I was doing really well and then I fell down the biggest rabbit hole so let me show you what I've got so it started believe it or not with vintage drops now I think it was last year I did an order on one of the either Black Friday or midweek deals you know they they regularly do deals and I'd got a vintage drop in that and I, I remember saying when I did that haul video I'm not going down this road I'm not getting into vintage drops and it sat in my cupboard not even opened and then I used it and I really liked it and then I saw a Black Friday deal and I was just like oh go on then so the black friday deal was for all of these and you got all of these vintage drops for 9.99 which i thought was really really good now obviously to get free delivery you have to spend over 20 pounds so i messaged my crafty friend down the road and i sent him a copy of the deal and i said i'm getting one for me would you like me to 
get one for you too. And he said, oh, yes, please. So I did. Uh, and I totally enabled him. <laughs> so we both now have these. So I'll show you what colours you got. So for $9.99, you got Bonnie Blue. You got Earl Grey. Um, Yellow Brick Road. This one is Chalk Stick. This one is Dusty Rose. Then we have Regency Green. Uh, Pioneer Green. And lastly, Worn Navy. So I thought that was a really good deal. So I'd gone ahead and I'd ordered both of those for us, but I was still like, 2p short or whatever for free delivery so clearly I went on and found something else that I thought I might treat myself to and I got this this is beautiful this is a glitter drop in grotto green because guess what I've also fallen down the glitter drops excuse me I can't get my words out rabbit hole and I've decided I quite like these as well so I got that whoops and then, like, you'd you, you think I'm done, but oh no, oh no, no. Then I was just casually browsing, like you do, one evening, and I found the most amazing deal on stone drops. Now, I didn't have any stone drops, and I thought, you know, I'm quite intrigued to see what those are about. They looked really expensive. When you look at them singularly on Tonic's website, they are really expensive. I got six for £9.99. How amazing is that? So I got these ones. So I'll show you the colours. So we have, have a colour. Oh, plum slate. We have pink granite. We have rosebud pink. This one I'm absolutely obsessed with. This one is berry burst. Look at that pink. Isn't it stunning? We have Lady Liberty, which is the most beautiful green. And we have Morning Fog. And as I say, I am now obsessed with these. I think these I would only buy when they're on deal because they are so expensive. But when I squeeze them out and swatch them out, because I have swatched all of these out, I was just like, oh my goodness, I need these in my life. But clearly we now have a problem because, as I said, these were $9.99 and I wanted my free delivery. So what did I do? I did what any good crafter would do. Who wants to be enabled and is happy to be enabled? And I went and I looked and I found some more things that I wanted to buy and kind of made it okay by saying, well, I need my free delivery. So to be fair, these first ones were only a pound each, which help set things in motion if I'm honest so I have glitter drops this one is lilac whisper then I got white blizzard again another glitter drop that looks absolutely amazing and then this pink oh my goodness I swear I'm channeling pink at the moment I'm obviously wishing for spring this is sherbet shimmer they were only a pound each so I was like yep I need those and then just to like bump it up a bit I did get some full priced um crystal drops because I've nearly completed my set well I had till they released them for Christmas um so I thought you know I'll just add to my collection so I have ivory shell again this one absolutely beautiful I got berry blue I'd been trying to buy this for so long um, and no one ever had it so I snapped that up and then I also got woodland green I thought that was an absolutely beautiful beautiful green and then the last thing to show you is something I found in B&M and I found this white card so it's 210 GSM it's just plain white card their own brand you get 32 sheets for two pounds which I don't think is too bad and I thought you know I'm just going to give it a go um if it's rubbish I've only wasted two pound and Philippa can have it but if it's good then I win 
Now, I am not, like, an amazing colourist or anything like that. But I have to say, I am loving this cardstock for colouring on, die cutting, ink blending. Everything I have thrown at it, it has taken. It has produced nice cards, nice projects. It's taken water to a certain extent. Obviously, it isn't watercolour card, but it's coped okay with the little bit I've put on there or water-based products like ink, maybe, that I've put on there. Like, I am seriously, seriously, seriously impressed. So I was near a B&M the other day and I went and I got even more because I was like, for £2, I'm not passing that up. I have noticed they have been putting their prices up somewhat. Uh, I also have recently purchased some gold and silver mirror card from them. It used to be one ninety nine. It's jumped up and you get less. So I wasn't too impressed with that. And I feel like the quality is not as good as it used to be as well. I mean, I know it's cheap, so it's not going to be like the most amazing quality. But even so, it, it felt different to the one I'd had previous. But this card, oh my goodness, if you're near a B&M and you're just kind of a beginner, I'd recommend this. Maybe if you're a more advanced colourist, you'll be like, that's ridiculous. What are you talking about? But for a beginner like me, who's new to colouring, not great at it, still really honing ink blending if i'm honest this has been amazing i absolutely love it so that is my haul i hope you've enjoyed seeing what i've got as i said there is something in the post that i found on ebay and you're really going to want to watch this video and i will be tagging the seller in the description box because just oh my goodness like I found you something amazing but when that turns up that'll be a different video anyway but I hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please leave it a big thumbs up let me know in the comments what you think of my bargains my deals the things I've bought is there anything that stands out to you is there anything you're gonna grab what do you think of the white card have you tried it already what do you think I'd love 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 to know thank you so so much for watching today i really do appreciate it and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please please do hit that subscribe button it really does help the channel grow and get out to more people so i will be back soon with more videos until next time take care and i'll see you soon bye for now